Welcome to Omega Open Course. In this video, we will discuss about coefficient of restitution and its relation with velocity in different situations. Coefficient of restitution is basically ratio of separation velocity to the approach velocity. It depends on the property of the material of the two colliding bodies. Its value is usually between 0 to 1. In case of perfectly elastic collision, the value of coefficient of restitution is 1, while in case of perfectly inelastic collision, it is 0. In rest of the cases, it lies somewhere between 0 to 1. For example, if you drop a ball on the floor, after collision with the floor, the ball rebounces. Let us go back to the point where the ball collides with the floor. Let us assume its speed just before the collision is u and it rebounces with velocity v after collision. Then coefficient of restitution e is defined as the separation velocity divided by approach velocity. In this case, since the ball rebounces with velocity v, its rate of separation with the floor is v and as it struck the floor with speed u, rate of its approach was u. Thus coefficient of restitution in this case is v by u. In other words, if coefficient of restitution between the floor and the ball is e and if the ball hits the floor normally with u, the speed with which it will bounce is e into u. Also, in case of perfectly elastic collision, it will bounce with the same speed it collided with the floor. Let us consider another example where the ball collides with the wall, but this time it does not collide normally but at some angle with the wall. Let us stress the path of the ball. The speed with which the ball hits the wall is u at an angle theta with the normal. Let us assume that it rebounces with the speed v at an angle phi with the normal. The separation speed in this case is not v but the normal component of v that is v cos phi. Similarly, the approach speed is normal component of u rather than u itself. The normal component of u is u cos theta. Therefore, the coefficient of restitution in this case is v cos phi divided by u cos theta. In other words, if the ball bounces with the speed v at an angle phi with the normal, then v cos phi is given by e u cos theta. Also, since the wall applies force perpendicular to the surface only, the component of the velocity along the wall will not change and v sin phi must be equal to u sin theta. Solving these two equations, we can find final speed v and angle of reflection phi. If we divide the two equations, we get tan phi is equal to 1 by e tan theta. Thus, if coefficient of restitution is less than 1, then the angle of reflection is greater than the angle of incidence. Also, if collision is perfectly elastic, v is equal to u and phi is equal to theta. In case of perfectly inelastic collision, the separation speed will be 0 and the ball will not bounce. Rather, it will move along the floor with the speed u sin theta. Now consider the situation where two blocks moving towards each other collide head on. Let us assume that the bigger block moves with speed u1 before the collision while the smaller ball is moving with speed u2 before collision. After collision, bigger block moves with speed v1 and a smaller one with speed v2 in the directions shown. The rate at which both the blocks are separating is v2 minus v1 while the rate at which they approached was u1 plus u2 and hence the coefficient of restitution is v2 minus v1 divided by u1 plus u2. Finally, let us consider the oblique collision in two dimension where a ball moving with speed u collides with another ball kept at rest and after collision they move in different directions. Let us trace their paths. Let t t dash be the line along the final speed of the red ball. Further, let us assume that blue ball moves with the speed u at an angle theta with t t dash before collision. After collision, the red ball moves with the speed v1 while the blue ball moves with the speed v2 at an angle phi with t t dash. As during collision, the forces will act only along the normal. The red ball will move in the direction normal to the contact surface of the balls. Hence, t t dash is normal to the contact surface. For separation and approach speed, we need the normal components of the velocity only. Therefore, for coefficient of restitution, we need to look at the components of velocity along t t dash only. So the separation speed in this case is v1 minus v2 cos phi and approach speed is u cos theta. Thus coefficient of restitution is v1 minus v2 cos phi divided by u cos theta. Also, as there is no force in direction perpendicular to t t dash, the component of initial and final velocity of blue ball in direction perpendicular to t t dash must be conserved 
and u sin theta must be equal to v2 sin phi. In case of any doubts or if you want us to discuss any concept in physics, post it in comments below. Like and share the video if you found it useful. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.